Welcome back to Heiko Tutorial. This video is about custom style. First, I will introduce you to CSS, which is the language we use to define custom styles. And then, I will give you an example. And for the last part, I will show you how to search online for the CSS sentences. CSS Cascading Style Sheets is one of the core languages for building web pages. Another one is HTML, which is Hypertext Markup Language. HTML provides the structure of a page. It acts as the bone. While CSS is the flesh, it adds visual effects and layout to the page. This image shows its syntax. And let's go to this link to learn more about CSS. Going to the home page, and it says, CSS is the language we use to style an HTML document, and CSS describes how HTML elements should be displayed. Let me give you a quick example. Go to Inspect, and select this button will allow you to select elements from the page. For example, click here, and it shows the corresponding code for this element. And here in the style section, we can find the CSS codes. And this is where I can change the style of these elements. For example, I can change the font weight. Now it is 400, and I can select, for example, 7, and now it's more, it's bolder. And maybe for the color, change it to blue-violet. Now you've got the idea of how CSS works. And inside this tutorial contents, you can see a long list of things that you can work on with CSS. For example, the rounded corners, border images, backgrounds, colors, uh, text effects, and so on and so forth. And did these names ring a bell for you? We actually have something similar in the high code editor. Have this text widget as an example. Inside this property panel, we can find, for example, background color, font color, size, and style. So, by setting a widget's properties, we are actually doing something similar as writing CSS code. And there are some fancy stuff that CSS can do, but are not preset in the property panel. We can scroll down and find this custom style. This is where we can add those CSS code. By ourselves. So now let's move on to the next part and I will show you an example of using this custom style. Go back to the tutorial page and we are now going to look for a property that is not included in the property panel. Let's take this gradients color as example. In this page for gradients, you can find the syntax. So its style name and followed by its value. So how do we use this syntax? Let's go back to the editor. To add custom styles, select a widget and go to the very bottom of the property panel, like what we've done just now for the text box. There. And click this plus sign. Also you can add multiple custom styles. Now let's add the gradient background to this page 1. The tutorial gives us some examples, and let's use this diagonal gradient. Before the column, it is the style name, and after it, it is the style value. So this one goes to this section, and this one goes there. For the name, we won't need the column, and fill the value inside there. Click a blank area to apply, and the gradient color is applied to page 1. For the style value, instead of using the color names, we can also use the hex color codes. For example, change it from red to white, and the code for white is hashtag FFFFFF, and apply. The pseudo class is used for triggers. Let's take this text one as an example. Move it to the center of this page. And for this text one, also add a custom style to it. We can select in the pseudo class 
for example, Hoover. This will have the text change to the custom style when the mouse moves over it. So select the style name. We can use the same as this page. For example, background image. And for the style value, give this text a width and height. Okay. And for the color, make it different from the page's background. And we can see the effects. Now the text box's background color is transparent and when I move my mouse over it, it is changed to the custom style. It is totally fine if you don't know how to write CSS because you can always find it online. Next I will show you how to look for the sentence you want online and how to use it in your own project. And just now we have set the custom style for the background color. And what if I want to set a gradient for the text itself? So let's search the code for that. What you need to do is to search by the keywords and CSS. Go to this link and scroll down to the syntax. And here you can see that to realize the color ingredient, we will need three cascading styles. Each one of these three lines will occupy one custom style block. Now back in the editor, I'm going to create a new text, a larger one, so we can see the gradient clearly. And make it bold and go to its custom style. We will need three lines for the custom style. And now we are going to fill in the names and values. Remember to leave out the colon and semicolons when you are copy pasting these uh, sentences. So first background. And before I completed the rest two lines, the, the first block first changed the background into gradient. And the next two lines will help me to apply this effect to the text itself. And when we've completed, the text is changed to gradient. And that is how to use custom styles in high code. Thank you very much for watching.